I am Ukrainian, my wife is Russian. In fact, a few years ago, um, in a few years ago, uh, Tri Cities did an article. They put um, a house divided. And um, yeah, so we, we are not divided though. But uh, the nations we come from are right now, there's a huge tension that is there. The verse I'm going to read is 1 Timothy chapter 2. It says, I urge you first of all to pray for all people. Ask God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. And we were just doing that. We were just thanking God. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we may live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand and to understand the truth. We're going to be praying for that conflict today that is happening. I'm going to invite um, Roman. He was a he's a friend in our of our house he ministered here a few times he's a professor associate professor of economics at case western reserve university in cleveland ohio he moved to kiev ukraine's capital two months ago and shirimita was born in ukraine in 1982 and lived there until 204 when he moved to the united states to get his phd from purdue university in indiana and he's been voted as has a lot of awards in uh, economics world he taught here he's a christian born again believer he's also a spirit filled believer about a few years ago he's already started to get offers to launch they're launching a first university in the ukraine that's english university and so and he is now the founder and the president of that university in kiev hi vlad how are you guys <laughs> we're doing better than we deserve better than we deserve <laughs> amen how are you well i'm doing great thank you so much i'm calling from kiev and uh you know i'm really grateful that you have made this bridge possible roman um tell us a little bit more i mean we're seeing this everywhere on the news right now um it's it's just like just a hot topic right now even though as i've read a lot of articles uh, where, where they quoted you that this conflict has been happening for at least last eight years the ukraine's been living in this tension what is on the ground can you give us just a little bit of explanation of what is actually happening there from the ukrainian perspective of somebody who lives there yes yeah, so uh so the, you'll understand the the context uh, ukraine stands on the brink uh, or a crossroad of two very different worldviews uh, one is authoritarian with not much freedom and not too much regard for uh, individual liberties and people are more subject than the citizens and another one is more democratic where people are citizens they're free to choose and so the tension between russia and ukraine really represents this fight between these two worldviews and this fight has been going on for quite some time uh, so we can go back all the way eight years ago when russia annexed crimea uh, again, and they also attacked and have been supplying arms and troops to Donbass and Luhansk, Luhansk region on the east of Ukraine. And now what is happening now, Russia has amassed over 150,000 troops surrounding Ukraine, and they're staging a precedent to attack Ukraine. So, for example, in the past two days, uh, there have been um, shells, bomb shelling and shots all across uh, southern uh, part of Ukraine and uh, Russian media is portraying as if uh, Ukraine is sh shooting at them and so basically uh, it's as if Ukraine is attacking Russia and they're waiting for the president to attack now Ukraine. Uh, they have started to evacuate some people from the east into Russia. Uh, basically it's pretty serious and uh, um, Ukraine really needs the help of the West uh, uh, because also you have to understand that because of what's going on right now, uh, we have a really difficult situation where a Ukrainian hryvna is devaluing, the markets are crashing, there's been a lot of outflow of investments out of Ukraine. So, and it's a pretty desperate moment right now for Ukrainians and we're praying uh, for ukraine we're praying and i was mentioning before this that my wife is actually from russia 
And so um, I just had her on the stage and that we symbolically prayed both of us so that uh, because we're, we're believing for, we know that, and I've, I've read in one of your articles uh, in the news media, you mentioned that if this will ex uh, accelerate into war, it will not help Russia either. It will really destroy Russia as well. Yeah. And, it's, and if it doesn't turn into war, but the tension remains, it's going to keep on crippling because Putin doesn't have to go into war to cripple Ukraine. That's right. That's exactly right, Vlad. And a very important point that there is a difference between Russia and Russian people or Kremlin and Russian people. It's a very big difference. They have wonderful Russian friends that are supporting Ukraine, standing along in this fight. And it's just the regime. And you know better than anybody else, your church, that our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, the underlying spiritual powers that are bringing this oppression. And this is something that people have to understand. It's not just a physical fight. It is also a spiritual fight. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God for everything. I just wanted to say, if you can be intentional, also church, hunger generation in your prayers, we need courage instead of fear and despair. Recently, I made a post on, on, on social media uh, sh showing how Ukrainian people in Kharkiv, on the snow, on their knees, praying, asking God to interfere and to help Ukraine. So if you can continue to pray for that sort of courage to be, you know, expressed in the midst of fear and despair. Also, I ask you to pray for unity within Ukraine and also unity around the world in support of Ukraine. I also want for you to ask uh, to pray for uh, principalities and demonic powers because again as i said that's where our fight is and of course pray for peace so if you in the evening or throughout the week or throughout the next month please be intentional about your prayer may god bless you thank you so much for this bridge that vlad has built god just bless you. your hands and i want my wife to just begin to pray that prayer for those of you online drop the ukrainian and russian flag because we're praying for both of those nations right now in jesus name Father god we just pray for those two nations yes. lord we cover yes, them with in your Jesus mercy, Lord. Name. Yes, we God. ask for your mercy, Son of David. Would you have mercy yes, on both Lord. of those countries, Lord? We ask you, God, and we pray against war, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray for innocent people that are yes, affected by this conflict, yes, God. We ask name. for your intervention. Yes, let your Precious healing, Holy let your Spirit, miracle would begin you comfort to those area, that are God. struggling, God? We, speak, Father, we so cover Jesus, with the blood God, of Jesus Lord, Lord, both of the presidents, Lord, and we ask you that you will steer the hearts of the presidents, God. God, towards peace and not war, Lord. We just cover them with your presence and with the fire of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We ask for the Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, God, that you will raise them up from ashes, God, that you will begin to help them, God, that your supernatural hand of help will be upon that country. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. Well, let's just take one more minute just begin to intercede right now let's just begin to intercede right now for peace to come to that area in the name of Jesus Lord we pray right now for the peace to begin to come father we pray for the nation of Ukraine Lord we pray God that you would begin to even as revivals have been happening there God even as there is freedom Lord God for the preaching of the good news we ask you God for the peace to begin to come into that area we ask you that you will begin to defend that nation God we ask you that you will begin to Lord God come to that nation Lord Lord. we ask you father as you said to pray for Jerusalem Lord today we pray for Ukraine today father we pray God for the people that are in there we pray God for the churches that are in there we pray Lord God for the pastors God we pray for the missionaries Lord that are in there God we pray for the citizens of this nation Lord let there be peace in that nation let there be shalom in that nation God we ask you father that you will begin to release your angels God to prevent the bloodshed to prevent the, the shedding of the innocent blood the shedding of the blood for the sake of the political schemes that are happening Lord God Lord let may the principalities not succeed in that region Lord may the regional demons that are seeking to spill more blood God let them not succeed Lord in Jesus mighty name father we speak Lord God that you will right now push back the darkness we speak right now Lord God that you will begin to push back every agenda every agenda to bankrupt the nations to bring extreme poverty to bring violence to bring Lord God hate between these two countries God in the name of Jesus we ask for your mercy we ask for your wisdom 
we ask Lord God for the direction of the Ukrainian president God we ask you Lord God for the that you would turn the heart of the Russian president Lord God toward your agenda God not toward his agenda as you did with Nebuchadnezzar as you did with the pharaohs of old as you did Lord God with different kings even with dictators God where you will shift their hearts in your direction God your word says that you hold the king's heart in your heart in your hand and you can turn it the way you want it to turn it God you are sovereign Lord you are over the earth you are over the heavens God and we plead for your mercy we plead for your grace we plead to extend your mercy God we pray God for other nations right now we pray for the nations where American troops are at we pray for the nations where there is it's illegal to be a Christian we pray for the nations where Christians are in hiding right now we pray for the nations where there's violence and blood just runs down the street the blood of innocent people Lord that you will begin to bring your revival there God in Jesus mighty name we plead for your grace we plead for your mercy in the name of Jesus in Jesus name amen 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 church I believe that God hears our prayer and I ask you that as you come every day to pray here that you remember right now these things that are happening and it's not only in Ukraine and Russia but there's other places where stuff is happening that you will remember these things in prayer amen